a very traditional American recipe and probably one of the best ways to cook testicles, fried Rocky Mountain oysters. These are excellent. I'm going to start out by cleaning a testicle. This is a large ram testicle. Depending on if you buy them or if you harvest them yourself, yours may or may not have the outer sheath because there's kind of two sheaths that you have to peel off. Then I'm going to soak mine in brine overnight, but you don't have to. Now we're going to cook them. We're going to poach them in some simmering water until they're completely cooked through. Then I'll take them out and I'll let them cool until I can handle them, put them in some cool water. And here, I'm actually going to show you where I messed up. Can you see that the testicle is not completely cooked through? What will happen if you fry those is the water is not cooked out and water is going to come out from the meat into the oil. This is what they should look like. They should be completely cooked through. If they are not cooked through, water is going to come out into the oil and it's going to splatter in the oil and, you know, oil and water, especially we're going to deep fry these. That is a bad combo. You don't want anything popping in a big pot of oil. Here's some that are completely cooked through and they're still going to be nice and tender. It's kind of like the texture of a hot dog. I'm just going to cut those into about quarter inch slices or a little bit thicker if you want. Toss them in some buttermilk. Then I'm going to mix some cornstarch or uh, cornmeal, flour, a little paprika, 14 herbs and spices. We're going to toss the cooked testicles in that corn flour mixture first. This is to get the best crust. Some recipes just do buttermilk and then cornmeal. That's not going to work. Your crust is going to fall off. Put them in the buttermilk, then put them back into the flour cornmeal mix. And you can add different seasonings and stuff, whatever you want. Then we're going to drop them into the hot oil. And you want some nice hot oil here. Don't overcrowd the pot. When they're golden brown, crispy, and delicious, take them out. I'm also going to show you how to make hot sauce. And right here, you can also pan fry these if you don't want to deep fry them or you just have a little bit. You can pan fry them too, that's just fine. Now I'm going to show you how to make like hot sauce when you'd get it at a restaurant or if you want to toss the fried testicles in the hot sauce. This is what you do. Take some Frank's Red Hot, melt it in a pot, a little pan, add a knob of butter. That's it. Whisk it. Congratulations, you did it. You got to the end of a video about cooking and eating testicles. Thanks for watching.